Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It is an absolutely beautiful evening to be down here at the sawmill. Actually, it's a beautiful evening to be doing whatever you want. What I want to do is cut some fence pickets out of this beautiful white pine right here. Uh, this came from West Virginia and it is going to return to West Virginia. What we're going to do is put a gate in across the driveway and then on either side of the gate we'll have like a uh, privacy fence you know like a picket privacy fence i guess you'd call it on either side probably extend out about 30 or 40 feet and i figured this would be uh pretty nice material to make those pickets out of what i'll do once we put it up i'll just let it dry for probably two months maybe and then i'll take my uh airless sprayer down there and put a nice oil-based stain on it, and it'll be good to go. As long as you're not touching the ground with this white pine, uh, it'll last a very long time. I may even get a few two-by-fours out of this as well. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll uh, get a bunch of pickets out of here. Then on the bottom, we'll get a few two-by-fours for in between the posts. But this right here is going to make a lot of wood. So I've got two pieces here. I just stood them up on edge and they are six inches wide. So I'll get kind of a uh, two for one with each pass. Actually, a four for one. Yeah, because these are 11 feet, six inches long. And the reason that is, is because I've been hauling these logs home with my dump trailer that's sitting over there and it's 12 feet. So you got to cut them like 11.6 for a little bit of wiggle room to get them in the dump trailer. But if my pickets are, say, five and a half feet each pass, I'm going to get four out of it, which will get me two linear feet of fence. So let's fire up the mill and get started. We're going to get a lot out of this. I've got uh, 20 cuts so far. That'll give me 80 pickets. Yeah, 80, five and a half feet tall. That's a lot out of that one log. Now I'm gonna get some uh, two by fours out of these pieces on the bottom. All right, I got uh, six two by fours off the bottom. I'm sawing my two by fours uh, inch and a half thick by four inches wide. I'm calling them two by fours. All those pickets I've got uh, stacked and stickered over there. Once I'm ready for them down in West Virginia, what I was thinking, I don't know, we'll see how big that pile gets, but I could band that whole pile, load it right on the uh, deck over, and haul it down there. Wouldn't have to touch it again until I'm using it. I may do that. We'll have to see. But anyway, it's going to get dark here soon, so I will report back tomorrow morning.
sunrise in my eyes Just like a new day A breath of fresh air in my life I don't know how and don't know why But I'll, I'll be toasting all my life Just uh, sawed up another white pine log. Out of this one, I got a few siding boards, and then I got some two by sixes and some two by fours. I'm gonna stack and sticker this up, and I'll show you what I got so far. Alright, so far I've got uh, some 2x4s on the bottom, some siding boards, then a bunch that I'm going to use for pickets on a fence, and then a couple layers of 2x4s and 2x6s. Either later on this evening or uh, tomorrow, I'll saw up a couple more of these. That one there is a big one right there. That'll make a lot of lumber. That's probably 22 inches in diameter. That other one's only about 15, but they're nice and straight, so you still get a decent amount out of them. And this one's pretty big as well, although this one is an 8-footer. Everything else has been 11.6. So right before that last log, I did my first uh, blade change. I still had the original one on. If I had to guess, I probably got, I don't know, 750, 800 board feet out of that one. Uh... Probably could even got a little bit more out of it. That's one thing with that diesel. Uh, it's got so much power, you know, it'll push a, uh, a a dull blade right through it. But I wanted to make a change, and it did definitely make a difference uh, a lot faster. So I'll get a better feel for it on, you know, when the best time to change a blade is. But, uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm getting much more comfortable uh, with the mill. I don't have to think about what I'm doing anymore. Haven't hit anything, haven't broke anything. I always get nervous on that last cut, though, down there on the deck. I mean, it's set up. I've got everything out of the way. But, man, that blade is close to everything. Makes me nervous. I was just checking the weather uh, both here and down in West Virginia uh, because sometime in the next week I'm going to be going back down to the property. Actually, I can say down to the cabin now since we have a cabin there. But yeah, I'll be going down to the cabin to install the gate across the driveway. Uh, maybe start work on the fence on both sides of the gate. I've got some work to do on some drainage around the cabin. I've got a decent plan for that. And what else? There's a lot of stuff to do down there. Beside the cabin, maybe 50 feet away, I've got a huge pile of brush and treetops and things like that. I need to start burning on that. Uh, what I'll do, I'll take the tractor and the grapple kind of pull a little bit out of a time and keep a small uh, fire going the whole time I'm down there. 
I burned a bunch up last fall, uh, but I just kind of ran out of weather and ended up just kind of pushing out of the way. So tons of stuff to do down there. And then we will uh, start on the inside of the cabin. And Melissa and I are still kind of going back and forth on whether we're going to do a detached shower house or a small bathroom addition. We don't know yet. Either way, it'll be fine. It'll all work out. But that's the plan for that. And then I have a lot of work to do both here and down at the brick house. I'll, uh, I'll show you that in an upcoming video. Same thing. Big brush piles, got some dirt to move. Uh, but around here, trees are a lot of work. It seems no matter what you do, you got trees dying, you got trees blowing down, you got to do some clearing, and there's always a lot of work involved with trees. Down there at the brick house, I think it was last year, we took down uh, a couple big dead Norway spruce and just kind of pushed them down to the lower end of the yard. The plan was to let them to kind of... Uh, you know, break down a little bit, which they have, but we're going to get that cleaned up. As long as the weather's nice, uh, geez, I could do something, work from daylight to dark for the next three months. I, I could. We got a lot of stuff going on, but that's good. But anyway, I am rambling on right now. I, uh, I appreciate y'all being here, and I think that's about it, and I'll catch you on the next one.